Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when camera is not working in your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you are receiving this error in device manager that is this device cannot start error code 10 status device power failure. So in order to go ahead and fix this error, the first step is to go ahead and restart your computer. So go to the start menu, click on the power icon and then click on restart and after the system restart, try to use the camera. Now still you are facing the problem, in that case you make sure camera access is on in privacy settings. So open windows settings, click on the start menu then click on settings. Now go to privacy and security. Scroll down here you can see camera, click on it. Make sure camera access is on over here. Now if your application is using the camera, in that case you can go ahead and make sure this is on. And also make sure that the app which is using the camera is also on. Now also turn on this option which says let desktop apps access your camera. So turn this on and then try to use the camera. Now the next step is to run camera troubleshooter. For this go to the start menu then click on settings. Now if you have Windows 11 click on system and then you will find the troubleshoot option. Now if you have Windows 10 in that case you have to go ahead and click on update and security. And under update and security, you will find troubleshoot. In Windows 11, it's under system. Click on troubleshoot. Click on other troubleshooter. Find camera. Here you can see camera. And then click on run. And once the troubleshoot is complete, check camera. Now the next step is to reset camera app. For this, go ahead and type in camera. And then make a right click on camera app. Then click on app settings. Now scroll down here you can see the reset option, click on reset, reset and once the reset is done try to use the camera. Now the next step is to disable and enable camera for this open device manager, make a right click on the start menu, click on device manager. Now expand camera, so in your case it might be camera or it might be imaging device, so in my case it's camera you might find your camera under imaging device also. So expand it. Now if this is off, make a right click and then go ahead and click on enable device. And if this is already on, in that case make a right click, disable it once, click on yes and then enable it once again. And then try to check camera. Now the next step is to allow camera and browser access to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, make sure that you allow the camera app to your camera and browser to your antivirus program. Now you can also disable your antivirus program till the time you are using the camera. So when you are using the camera, you can go ahead and disable your antivirus program. Now in case if you are using Windows security, go to the start menu then click on settings. In Windows 10, you click on update and security. On the settings page, you will see update and security. Click on update and security. In Windows 11, click on privacy and security. And then click on Windows security. Click on virus and threat protection. And you can go ahead and click on manage settings over here. And then turn off the real time protection till the time you're using the camera. Once you're done using the camera, you can go ahead and enable real time protection. Now, the next step is to go to this location so if you have a real tech camera in that case go to the start menu or you can simply open file explorer so click on file explorer go to this pc open c drive open program files and find real tech folder over here double click on real tech and make a right click on rs providers and then go ahead and rename this so make a right click then click on rename and you can go ahead and rename it as rs provider underscore or maybe dot old old. So just rename this folder and then you can go ahead and try to use the camera. In case if you don't have the real tech camera you can skip this step. You don't have to do this step. And after this once you rename it then you have to go ahead and restart your computer and then check the camera. The next step is to is for MSI laptop users. So if you have a MSI laptop so for few model number when you press Fn plus F6 on the keyboard, it will go ahead and enable the camera and you should not receive the error message anymore. Now, in few ASUS computer, in some model number, you will have to press F10 to enable the camera. Now, in some HP laptop, if you have a HP computer, in some model number, 
there is a camera kill switch so you have to go ahead and slide this camera kill switch you can go ahead and slide it to enable or disable the camera so if this is disabled you should you can receive the error message so you can go ahead and enable the camera using the camera kill switch in some model number you will find this so if you have this model number you just slide this camera kill switch to enable your camera now the next step is to update camera driver from device manager so make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager and then expand camera or you might find imaging device so expand it find your camera make a right click then click on update driver click on search automatically for drivers and let it once it is done you can go ahead and check your camera still you are facing the problem make a right click on the camera once again update driver now this time click on search automatically for drivers once again and then click on search updated drivers on windows update it will go ahead and open windows update if there is any update for camera install it restart your computer use the camera now still you are facing the problem this time make a right click then click on update driver click on browse my computer for drivers click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and then select usb video device and then click on next and after the installation restart your camera and then try to check your camera now the next step is to update camera driver from your system manufacturer website so if you have a lenovo computer go to lenovo website if you have hp computer go to hp if you have a dell computer go to dell website if you have asus computer go to asus so go to your system manufacturer website and install the driver from your system manufacturer website so this is just an example if you have a dell computer go to dell website select your model number from here you can go ahead and select desktop or laptop select your model number and go to drivers and download and install the driver if you have a lenovo go ahead and select your model number and you can go ahead and download and install the camera driver from the system manufacturer website so go ahead and go to your system manufacturer website and find the camera driver and install it then restart your computer and then check your camera now the next step is to uninstall camera driver and then restart your computer so make a right click on the start menu then click on device manager now again expand camera or imaging device make a right click on your camera then click on uninstall device click on uninstall and after you uninstall it go ahead and restart your camera uh, restart your computer so restart your computer and after you restart the computer you can go ahead and check your camera if the camera is not working in that case you can go to your system manufacturer website once again and then download the camera driver from your system manufacturer website and then try to check your camera the next step is to enable the camera in system bios so you can go ahead and go to your system bios for different brands uh, there might be different bios key which you have to uh, enter to go to the system bios so first of all to go to the bios you have to go ahead and shut down your computer so go ahead and shut down the computer in dell computer start your computer and immediately when you keep on tapping the f2 key it will take you to the system bios and then you go ahead and find your camera and make sure camera is enabled in your system bios now if you have different brand like if you have a lenovo asus computer you can go ahead and in google you can go ahead and search which key will take you to the system bios so go to the system bios and then enable the camera in system bios now the next step is to update your windows 10 or 11 so go to the start menu then click on settings then click on windows update or in windows 10 click on update and security then click on check for update and once the update is installed restart your computer and then check your camera now now the next step is to perform clean boot for this go ahead and type in system configuration in windows search box then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services over here then click on disable all in my case already did it that's why it's grayed out so put a check over here then click on disable all then click on apply okay you will see the restart option restart your computer and check your camera now the next step is to update system bios for this again go to your system manufacturer website this is just an example go to your system manufacturer website select your model number go to drivers and download and then you can go ahead and find your bios and you can go ahead and download the bios and install it on your computer now before you update the bios make sure the battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter charger is connected to the computer in case of laptop make sure charger is connected and the battery is more than 10 percent and then you can go ahead and update your bios now during the bios update your system will restart now when it's updating the bios do not unplug the power cable because it may damage your computer so after the bios update you can go ahead and check your camera now the next step is to perform system restore so go ahead and type in system restore in windows search box and then click on 
create a restore point and then click on system restore now click on next and then select the restore point on which date the camera was working fine so in my case i have only one restore point in your case you might find multiple restore point over here so you have to go ahead and select the date and time on which date the camera was working fine suppose you started facing this problem today you can go ahead and select the restore point for yesterday or maybe day before yesterday and then click on next and then click on finish it will go ahead and perform system restore log into your computer and your camera should work fine now in case if nothing is working you can go ahead and reset your computer now to reset your computer before you reset your computer just make sure that you create a backup because when you perform reset you might lose all the data on the computer so you can create a backup and then go to the start menu click on settings and then in windows 10 click on update and security in windows 11 click on windows update then click on advanced option and here you will see recovery option click on recovery and then here you can see the reset this pc option click on reset pc now here two option keep my files remove everything now once you select keep my files it will remove application and settings but it will keep your personal files now when you select remove everything it will remove all the personal files apps and settings so you have to start it from the scratch so you can go ahead and select the option which you want i will go ahead and select keep my files and then you can go ahead and click on local reinstall and then click on next and after the system restart you can go ahead and set up your computer and then start using your computer and you can go ahead and check your computer you can, uh, your camera camera should be working fine now still you are facing the problem after the system reset still the camera is not working then there might be a possibility that there is some hardware issue with the camera so you can go ahead and run hardware test if you find anything wrong with camera that if there is any kind of error message or anything for camera so in that case you can go ahead and contact your system manufacturer and get the camera replaced so one of the steps should definitely help you to get your camera working on your windows 10 or 11 computer so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel